Hello and welcome back to Chemistry. It is all that matters and today we're going to continue our discussion on the mole but we're going to start by reviewing some basics about the mole. So let's remember when we're talking about the mole we are not talking about this furry little creature that uh, burrows in the dirt and we are definitely not talking about avocados number guacamole at Trader Joe's and we are not talking about mole which is one of my favorite Mexican dishes uh, that chocolate chili sauce on chicken is so delicious but we are not talking about mole we are talking about and mini mole here says she thinks she knows so let's take a look we are talking about this mole which is Avogadro's constant of 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd which basically looks like this 602 hexillion. That's 602 with 21 zeros after it. That is a huge value. And we are talking about basically Avogadro's number, and we are talking about one mole equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms, or we are talking about one mole equaling 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules, because the mole is like a dozen where we always know it's the same value but we don't only talk about the mole as being Avogadro's number of atoms and molecules we also talk about the mole being the molar mass and mole, one mole is equal to the gram formula mass or the molar mass so if I have a mole of baking soda I'm gonna have 83.9 grams because that is the molar mass or the gram formula mass for baking soda and if I find one mole of salt I'm going to have 58.4 grams of salt and that is going to be the mass molar mass of that salt and if I have one mole of water I'm going to have 18.0 grams of water so the molar mass the gram formula mass is always equal to one mole and we also can look at the mole as a value of molar volume and that molar volume is going to be one mole equal to 22.4 liters but that is only if the gas is at standard temperature and pressure and standard temperature is 273 Kelvin which is the same as zero Celsius and one atmosphere of pressure which is the same as 760 millimeters of mercury and when we look at that if we have one mole of helium and we have one mole of chlorine and they are both at one atmosphere and 273 Kelvin or 760 millimeters of mercury and zero Celsius they are going to fill a balloon a container to 22.4 liters of volume and that is the molar volume so let's remember what we're talking about here and we're talking about the mole being a value that allows us to convert between numeric values and we are talking about being able to compare the particles that are involved in that substance we are talking about the mass that is involved in that substance or if the substance is contained at STP we are talking about the molar volume so in each of these cases we can create a conversion factor for dimensional analysis that will let us convert from particles to moles from mass to moles from volume to moles or likewise from moles to particles from moles to mass and from moles to volume and in the next two videos we're going to look at how to convert from moles to mass and from moles to volume so keep working on your chemistry and continue to study the mole.